Are you ready to be scared to death? You joined us for Scary Larry's House of Universal Horrors. Now prepare yourself for Scary Larry's Pint of Horrors. <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget, as always, these guys swear like fucking sailors. Fuck yeah, we do. <laughs> Don't. They would have come even if I hadn't called them. What do they know? I told them everything. I just didn't think that they would believe me. All right, we'll deal with this later. Get ready. Well, we've entered the uh, seventh le level of hell once again. Pint of Comics becomes Scary Larry's Pint of Horrors. I'm John. With me, as always, Scary Larry Dwyer. Hello. Thank you. Sorry, I stole that from him. Yeah, you did. <laughs> him being Dave, our buddy Dave Caswell. Hello, that's me. <laughs> <clears throat> Dave is an old friend, uh, used to be on a podcast that I loved, that uh, broke my heart and just stopped, you <laughs> fuck, called Raw Viewage. Really fun podcast, couple of buddies would watch a movie, have a few beers, get a pizza, review the pizza as well. It was a lot of fun. Rich Smith, who's been on the show before many moons ago, Rich yeah. came on and did uh, Blade. Blade. Yeah, 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 we yep. did Blade, the, Blade uh, with uh, Wesley Snipes, the original, mm. 1998. The nice. only. Yeah, the only <laughs> Blade. But he, Dave's here, chilling with us tonight. And uh, we're going to venture into the latest film in Larry's, uh, in Larry's, uh, I guess, oeuvre of films. <laughs> his, his coterie. You know, I, I, you know, I screwed everything up. I, Larry yeah. was going to pop a top to start the episode. Yeah. Larry, could you do it now? Does it really matter anymore? No, I think, I think it'll still work. Okay. Fuck yeah. it. Let's do it. it. Is, are people going to get mad that it's not a beer? It's a Diet Pepsi. You right. didn't know it until you said it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Ooh. That was fucking good. Yeah, my heart. Lloyd, Lloyd you're fired. Yeah, Lloyd might be fired at this point. We don't need you. We don't need you anymore. Or Lloyd's got to start drinking diet Pepsi. <laughs> so we've been talking. This is season two of Scary Larry's Pine of Horrors. So far, uh, we have done three episodes. We talked about Mom and Dad, the Nicolas Cage Selma Blair film. Crazy fucking shit, by the way. Selma Blair. We talked about in that episode uh, was stricken down with uh, multiple sclerosis. Yeah, hard Holy hard word shit. to say. And Christina Applegate, <laughs> yep. this week, uh, mm. who, who survived breast cancer, uh, just yep. came out and with a diagnosis of that. What, just totally fucked. Yep. That's those acts of God really sticking in and breaking up. I guess. <laughs> I guess that's <laughs> absolutely wrong true. Episode. Wrong, wrong episode, Larry. <laughs> Shit. But uh, yeah, no. I just. Uh, I just. I, so we started with mom and dad. Yep. Uh, which was a very a, a heated episode because I had multiple friends who were parents said uh, I couldn't listen to your episode ah. when they started. Uh, when they when you guys started talking about killing infants, I'm like, Whatever. I think we did our job as a podcast. Yeah. I think we did our job as a podcast. It's a yeah. movie. Guess what? It's a movie. It's a movie. Mm -hmm. Dave, yeah. you seen Mom and Dad? I I haven't, but I was curious to see it. So, Check it out. Yeah, I want to. I if if I may, what did you guys happen to see the Uncle Willie's Wonderland? I recently saw it. Yeah. What did you think of that? It's it was. It was okay. It was tolerable. I weirdly fucking loved it. Did you really? Because <laughs> a lot just, of people did. Because it was just like. You know what? This is what we're doing. You know what I mean? Like there was mm -hmm. no fucking apology. I give it. I give it that. Yeah, and the yeah. other thing I liked about it was the you know spoiler for that movie is the fact that he never said a word. Yeah. Like that's a choice. Yeah, that's a good. Fucking Cage point. is on a Cage is on some sort of fucking roll right now. You, yeah. You got Mandy, Mom and Dad, uh, Colorado Space. That was a good one too. Pig. Uh, Pig. Willie's Wonderland. Yeah, there's something else. I'm the, missing. The, something about a ghost is the new one coming out that they're talking about. Ghosts of something. I don't know. That dude's fucking on fire right yeah. now. Yeah. And I hate Nicholas Cage. I think I've said it a million yeah. times. 
I kind of don't hate him right anymore. Well, because he like he finally started to realize like who he who he is. For a weirdo. Us. He's you a, know what fucking I mean? yeah. weirdo. a fucking weirdo. Fucking lunatic. Yeah. You know what I he mean? He hosts a show on Netflix called The History of Swearing. Have you seen that? Yeah. I've yeah. heard of it. I, I watched the fuck it. episode. Yeah. Okay. I haven't seen it anymore. I enjoyed it, but it's like a good he, one to start with. Yeah. Yeah. He hosts. Yeah. <laughs> it's great because it, the man also like he ages, but not the way like normal humans do. Have you yeah. noticed that? Like mm-hmm. he colors every piece of hair on his body, but his face is just like. Oh, like I can't keep up. <laughs> yeah, it's so yeah. weird. The skin and all the other stuff that's just naturally going to fucking turn to a bag yeah. is turned into a bag. But like the the rug and everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. His hairline is just holding on for dear life. Like I, I don't know, man. Like it's just a weird, weird thing. Yeah. yeah. Um. All right. Second episode we did was Frailty. The uh, mm. the Bill Paxton, Matthew McConaughey. Yeah. Did you, did you, that's one of my favorite movies. Ever. Listen to the Piney Comics, man. We're doing yeah. these. For you you, should, know, you should know this. We're you doing know these. Know that we you. did that. I know. I'm, no, I'm just saying. That's just one of my favorite oh. movies ever. It was great. It we we I we'd all seen it before. We all love that yeah. one. Uh, third one, which was most recent, more, not not so much in my wheelhouse. Kevin Smith directed Tusk. Eh, it was okay. That's a good movie. It was okay. Larry That's and Laura, movie. who were on the show with us, liked it a lot. I think I was down on it, and I think Lloyd was kind of in in between. No, nah, right on. I never saw it. Yeah, you should. It's good. All right. Don't listen to Johnny. He doesn't know what the fuck he's talking <laughs> I'll about. Give, I'll give you a quick breakdown of that one without getting into the episode. He, um, doesn't, he doesn't like pepperoni on pizza. So yeah, right. I do I not. Know. I do not. He doesn't, he doesn't like birch beer. No, birch beer is terrible. <laughs> terrible. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's okay. We Sorry. just lost Dan. <laughs> Dave. <laughs> Whatever. And they never he's saw gone him to. again. <laughs> he's gone to. Dave and Dan have both left the building. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. So, Larry, what were the, uh, th- what were the four choices people had? To vote on for the episode four, which is what I'm getting to. We're at episode four now. Yeah, we are. We are at episode four. So the four choices they had were the 2002 film May. I said from. From. That's correct. <laughs> it is 742 degrees right now. So I'm a little. Uh, How does balls in here? It it is, is, absolutely. It's pretty warm. So the 2002 film May, which I think has been in the running several times. A couple now. times now. Uh, 2008 Splinter, which is what I called as the winner. Wrong again. Wrong again. And in, has been in the run a couple times, too. Yep. Yeah. Uh, 2012's Excision, which is what I hoped would be the winner. And that was the one that got the least amount of least votes, right? Yeah. <laughs> As usual with the ones I really want. Yeah. <laughs> and the winner, uh, what we're talking about today, 2016 or 17, depending on what you read, uh, Don't Kill It. Don't Kill It. Yep. Which I saw in 2016, um, but I got a screener, so maybe it didn't come out in 17. Can we solidify something for season three of Scary Larry's <clears throat> Pine of Horrors yeah. right now? Because we kind of talked about it. Yeah. So this season we're doing uh, films from yep. 2001 to 2020, rolling the dice and yeah. going well, through it that way. Lloyd's idea. Could I Lloyd's do? idea. Could Can I we do? go with this one for, for... So season one was just you picked a bunch of movies you wanted to do. Yeah. And I think I mentioned this, mentioned this to you before, but I think I want to put it out there. Yeah. Season three. Yep. All sequels. Fine. Yeah. Sounds good, right? So yeah. it could be a four cool, it could be a five cool, yeah. But nothing, not the original movie. Yeah. So now, okay. So how do we pick? Like, I mean, let's just, oh, you let's, use, let's use a Friday the Thirteenth, right? Where there's fucking eleven of them. This is well because it's Scary Larry's. That that's the parameter, but the choices are still yours. Oh, perfect. That's great. Yeah. Good. I like that. That's All right. Right. This is yours. <laughs> yeah. And since we do, so, since we're doing like you ten, can go with this, or you can go with <laughs> the, black, the black sheep. Uh, so since we're doing like ten episodes per season. You come up with like twenty that yeah. way. You know what I mean? Like, there's always something that could be popped up. Oh, I'm, you know what? I'm gonna write that down. Write right that. Now. Write that thought down. We still have six episodes to go this year, so we still have some time. So, uh, don't kill it, uh, which was released technically in the U.S. on March 3rd of 2017. It was released in Hamburg, Germany, at the Fan- uh, Fantasy Film Festival on August 27th of 16, and the Fantastic Fest in Austin, Texas, a month later, uh, September 26th of 16. So technically. You can go either way. Sure. This was directed by a guy named Mike Mendez. Yep. Now, one of the things I immediately thought about this movie when I was watching it was, yeah. I thought, this movie has a very high sci-fi 9 o'clock on a Saturday night quotient. Like, mm. this feels... Feels like a sci-fi movie. Like a sci-fi mm-hmm. movie. Well, here's why. <laughs> Director Mike Mendez, uh, he makes sci-fi movies. Yeah. yeah. He directed... I, I, one I, of my favorites. I've been wanting to say this say all it? week long. All right, I'll let you say it. I saw it in the theater. Lava, Lava Lantula? Oh, that's not the one I thought you were going to okay. say. Okay. And then the other one, Lava Lantula, which I can only assume is about a lava tarantula. tarantula? Sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, Big Ass Spider. That's the one I yeah, saw in the movies. Yeah. You saw Big Ass Spider in the I movie theaters? I certainly did. In uh, Poughkeepsie, New York, I saw Big Ass Spider. Didn't with that? Mike Mendez in attendance. Really? Yeah. Did that have like someone in it? it ha- yeah, Big Spider. Ah, <laughs> Big yeah. Ass Spider. I fucking love that It had guy. a few. It had, it had, it's one of my favorite actors. Wasn't he in the Titanic? 
Um, they had a few, like, those kind of guys, you know their face. Yeah. Uh, and I'm saying that because I know their face, but I don't know right. their names. Mm-hmm. You don't know the name. You're like, yeah, yeah it's the, it's that guy from... Uh, yeah, from The Thing. That's the name. That guy from <laughs> That Thing with those those other people. The guy with the eyeballs. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's got a face. <laughs> you know, he's got a face. Yeah. He's a, the guy... Yeah. Okay, he's fleshy. He's listen, yeah. fleshy. Listen. Yeah, sometimes he's got a shirt. Inside his mouth. <laughs> teeth. Okay? All right. A tongue... When they're used in a certain way, sounds come out of his fucking yeah. head. So, do you know that guy? You know that guy? <laughs> uh, uh, this movie was written by uh, two guys, Dan Burke and Robert Olson, who wrote a movie that came out recently that I've been wanting to see called Villains. Great fucking movie. Okay. It so was I, on my list of uh, tops last year. Which uh, which has uh, uh, Skarsgård. Skarsgård, Pennywise. Yeah. Uh, that was interesting. The other interesting thing about these guys is that they di- co-directed a movie, mm-hmm. which has a little bit of a tie into Pine and Comics. So oh. our buddies over at Insufferable Bastards, Brian Spears, worked on Stakeland. Yep. These oh, guys directed shit. Stakeland 2. 2. Which I don't know if Brian worked on 2 or not. I think he did. Brian Spears, I go check out did. Insufferable Bastards. Very fun podcast with two yeah. guys that complain about fucking everything. These two guys, these two guys can, you could put them, like, hand them a million dollars each and then just yeah. have, like, all the most beautiful women blow them in a, in a line and they would come Lock up with reasons things. why everything like, sucked. It's a little toothy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. she was, yeah. She would have been much better if she used a little less tooth. So, you know? so, so the podcast name is just not a clever name. It's no. Just, no, it's true. <laughs> they changed it. Yeah. They changed it from the mobile horror companion because they weren't listening or they weren't. Because they hate horror. They movies. hate horror. Yeah. They, they, they're kind of doing this horror show and meanwhile, they're talking about Charlie Bronson movies yeah. 90% of the time. They're great guys. Westerns, I do love like them. Western films. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so, those two writers also i have a connection okay with, sort of this is far-fetched but they wrote they did a film uh in 2015 called body which starred uh first larry fessenden who was like the god of yeah, yeah. new york city indie hard, uh, hardcore not hardcore hardcore but, but horror movies <laughs> but it also starred alex tertian who i was in piranha sharks with piranha sharks was that the one you did with kevin sorbo that was the one i did with kevin sorbo yeah. that's right yeah. <laughs> So, yeah. Sorbo. Hercules himself. Hercules, yeah. Hercules. I was his bodyguard. Nice. Which is fantastic because he's like a foot and a half taller than me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Here for your protection, sir. Yeah. So I, I got you, Hercules. Don't worry. <laughs> if you're listening to this episode and you don't want to get too deep into uh, us spoiling Don't Kill It for you, I'm going to tell you right now, you can go to Amazon Prime if you have it. Or you can go to Tubi, and uh, it's available on both right now. Uh, if Amazon Prime, obviously, you have to have that. Tubi is free. If you don't have Tubi... Uh, I tell everybody all the time, get Tubi. It's a fucking, yeah. it's an awesome app, and uh, everything is free on it. Um, um, I'm DB TV. You don't even have to fucking sign in. You just got to watch ads yeah. like every ten minutes. Same thing with Tubi. Yeah. Um, same thing. And with it's Tubi. like one ad. It's not yeah. even, it's not even yeah. bad. It's not even that bad. Yep. And it's not even like Hulu, where it's the same fucking ad over and oh, over. Yeah, and over and Hulu, Hulu is fucking like. It, there, it, I think there's a, like they're trying to torture you too. It's like, dude, <laughs> I. You know what's funny? Sorry to diatribe no, for a second, no, but no, like go. all through fucking COVID, like I was like, Sarah, it's not about the ads. It's just that they keep playing the same goddamn one. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it was just driving me. I was like, I'm never gonna buy a fucking Tide. Anything Tide puts <laughs> like I'm I'm done. You know. So anyway. Well, you know, it, it is true though. It's absolutely true. Uh, Tubi does the same thing. They'll show every like you know second commercial is the same as it was in the last break. Mm-hmm. So it's like you know St. Jude's Children's Hospital. It's like this sad fucking commercial. And I gotta just to watch fucking you know don't kill it. I gotta live yeah. through this every I'm, fucking eight minutes. I'm here for tits and blood. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So Larry, why did you pick this film? Why was this on the list? Because it's fun, man. It's, I remember, is it, if you remember, is it, Larry, oh, is yes, this film it fun? fucking is? Yes, it fucking is. <laughs> this is and the, you this will is come maybe, around to my side of the table when we're done. But so remember what I said when 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 Lloyd had this idea, first thing I did was actually go back to like my best of lists for the past few years. Right. And start looking at those. And I I started first putting down movies that I thought were the best from that year. And then I scratched that and I was like, you know, the Transfiguration is one of my favorite. That's a great fucking movie. Great movie. Is it going to be fun to talk about? Probably not. No, mm-hmm. but I, probably not. Is Don't Kill It probably going to be? Right, you'll see. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Wait about another forty minutes and then make that. Yeah, make that. I'll decision. be honest. This was this was, and I'm I'm not going to play my hand out yeah. early. Yeah, but, sounds like uh, you are. But yeah, I'm going to play my hand out early. <laughs> this one was very con- so. Part of the beauty of a podcasting, in my opinion, yeah, is I don't ever take the final product for what it is until we've talked about it. Yeah. Because that's half of the whole thing. That's the podcast is us mm-hmm. talking about it. This is like the final, uh, you know, like the closing statement. Right. <laughs> and the, to me, that could make anything more enjoyable than it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's where we're starting with, with Don't Kill It. Uh, <laughs> because I just, I don't know. I, I felt heavy, heavy 
sci-fi nine o'clock on a Saturday night vibe. And I'm not saying that's always a bad thing. It's not always but a bad thing. Th- at all. Yeah. This, I don't know. So, so Dave, had you ever seen this one before? No, no, actually. So here's the funny thing. Um, I, until you really were saying, uh, you know, it's from 2017. I thought it was like new. I think you guys had really selected it cause it was like, it just came out, but also, uh, um, one of the things that I want to talk about with, uh, as it like pertains to that is, um, we talk about from Dust of Dawn. Right. Um, one of the things that is interesting about From Dust Till Dawn is if you don't know anything about that movie, uh, you're in for a real, like, real oh, awakening, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. When I when you sent me the picture of the movie, I was just like, all right, it's a corny, like, Dolph Lundgren-led action movie. Because it's just him with, like, a gun or something on yeah, the thing. Yeah, it's a poster. So I just fired it up. And then, like, in the opening scene, I was like, that's why I wrote, <laughs> like, my notes literally said, genie? Is this a movie about a genie? Like, you know, like, what the hell is going on? I had no idea. It was like a... Um, you know, demon movie, you know, like where he's like hunting monsters. So I went in not knowing anything and I, I'm glad it was better for that. Yeah. In okay. my opinion. Yeah. All right. So essentially this movie starts off with, um, we're in Chicory County, Mississippi. We're in Trump country. Let's just yeah. be honest Let's, about it. It's, it's super, super redneck. We're, we're, we're in Trump country. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, we start off with uh, with a with a Trump supporter. He's out. He's out there. <laughs> Is he he's, a Trump? Did he sh- did he tell you that he was? He a didn't Trump have supporter? to. Uh, no? okay. He's out there with his dog. He's <laughs> hunting. Yes. And uh, his dog, uh, you know, he he wounds a deer, and yeah. uh, he sends his dog after it, and uh, dog doesn't come back. So he goes chases the dog, and the dog's acting fucking squirrely. Yeah. And he says, him, "What's wrong, boy?" And the dog has found like this, like he said, like a like, like, a like Dave bottle. said, it looks like a bottle, right? Yeah. So mm-hmm. you're like, oh, it's it's gold. It's made of yeah. gold. It must be. You know, something's in it. Something dangerous is in it. Which and, is what he thought. He was like, fucking treasure. Yeah, he picks yeah. it up, puts it in his jacket pocket, and then all of a sudden his dog, who we know is his dog, attacks the fuck out of him to the point where he has to kill the fucking dog. Yeah. Now we learn, because now we have, we're in this uh, suburban, you know, setting, and we got, uh, you know, a bunch of the, the women folk are sitting around in the kitchen, boiling water, uh, chit-chatting, right? Yeah, one, one quick thing. Did you guys ever see the Bye Bye Man? Uh, no. I, no, I started. I started and shut it off. The only good part of that movie is the beginning. Yeah. Um, and it reminded, that scene reminded me of like it just dude outside with a shotgun and like a shot following him up to the, yeah. to the front of the house. And I remember being like, holy shit, are they going to do that? But yeah. then it obviously it was much different, but that made me just think about that. He goes into the house, right? This guy goes into the house. He's not part of the household. The people, but they know him. They know him because he's him. a neighbor. And they call him by name. No, no. The first house he goes into is his own. You're right. He um, goes into his own he house. Goes in, I remember thinking about it because he's got a fucking rifle in the beginning. And then he's got a shotgun. And I was yeah. like, oh, all right. When he fucking blasts his wife, I yeah. was like, oh, yeah, we're doing blood in this oh, movie. Yeah. Oh, and then Fuck his yeah. son threw the back of the couch. Yeah. And the son's fucking like heart fucking explodes yeah. out of the front of him. Yeah. The yeah. gore in this movie, if you don't mind me saying so right now, like is fucking awesome. Yeah. 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 Dave, you have carte blanche here on Pine Comics. Say whatever you want, yeah, whenever yeah, you want. Yeah, yeah. All right? <laughs> All right? You want to swear a couple times to get it out of your system? Fuck! I know. All right. <laughs> Dave was on the radio show one time, and we, we told him he couldn't swear, so he, yeah. he's, he's got to get used to so that. some pent-up. Yeah. yeah. He's got a couple <laughs> He's pen nervous. Up. He's a little nervous. He's got a couple pent-up cunts <laughs> oh, and twats God. in him. Uh, so, yeah, then he walks into the next house. It's yep. the women folk chilling out, and they're just, like, talking about whatever women folk talk about, and he kills the fuck out of all of them. He fucking... He takes uh, the the mother and he dips her fucking head into her into her pasta water. Was yeah. awesome. Boils her fucking face. She drops to the ground and she's just like a moaning mess. Then Stone Cold Steve Austin, yeah. her husband, who's I thought Goldberg, but okay, <laughs> we're in the same we're sure. in the same area. Yeah, he yeah, comes yeah. in the in the, the fucking kitchen. And he's like, honey, and then he sees this fucking you know Larry the Cable Guy just killed his family, and uh, and he shoots he shoots the guy. Right. This is where we learn what's happening in the movie, Larry. What is happening? In this film. So this is a, uh, there's a demon, obviously, uh, that uh, is possessing people. And what Dolph will try to explain to the town is that anybody who kills the possessed person will then themselves become possessed by the demon. This is why the title of the film is Don't Kill It. Right, because you, you don't want to kill the demon or you'll become possessed and you'll become possessed. go on a kill crazy rampage. Right. Um, Eyes turn black and you make yeah. this sound an awful lot. Go ahead. <laughs> Yep. They they paid for that sound, the one sound bite, they were and they were to like, use it. Use, it. Yeah. <laughs> use the shit out of it. They were yeah. going to use it, no doubt. What the beginning reminded me of was a film called Martyrs, which is a Hell yeah. French New Extremity uh, film. But it's this the the opening is is basically this girl just 
going into a house and fucking with a shotgun executing an entire family, kids and oh, and mother, father, and it's the same kind of like wow, yeah, you, know, you don't expect this at the beginning of a movie. Yeah, no, you're not. You're not looking at like this like fucking yeah. family wipeout. Yeah. <laughs> and whereas I don't expect it, I do always celebrate it. So, yeah. yeah, I was glad to see it. It's the opposite <clears throat> of a slow burn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. By the way, the I, slow burn comes in like a little like seventy percent into the movie. It turns mm-hmm. into a slow burn. It, 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 it there, does. I'll, I will, you know, if that's one of your complaints later on, I it's, will admit that it does start to drag a little bit after not, the church. It, my complaints aren't even really any of the dragging. I think one of my biggest complaints in this movie, okay, and we'll jump right into it, is sure. the, is the acting. Oh, stop it. Oh, it's bad. Of who? Go ahead. Do you say Dolph Lundgren? No, I'm fucking we, flipping this listen, table. Look, listen. Because Dolph was a fucking. Ju- this is the best performance he's ever given. Well, hold on, because we we were so excited to talk about this movie, okay. we didn't talk to cast. We didn't talk cast. So let, why don't we talk you cast? It? You have it right. You, I have you brought it, it right. I have it. Uh, so let's talk cast, let's and talk then cast. we'll talk a little bit about the different levels of acting ability or inability in yeah. the cast. Right. The cast of the cast. Yeah. The casts of the cast. We've got Dolph Lundgren. Uh, as Jebediah Woodley. Uh, and this is his horror movie debut. It uh, is. Dolph has never done a horror movie. <laughs> yes, he's been He-Man. Um, he has been a master of the universe. He was. Yeah. <laughs> Still uh, is in my he's, heart. Yeah, and you know, he's been Ivan Drago, apparently. If he dies. Several times he's been Ivan he Drago. Dies. <laughs> yeah. He was Ivan in uh, Creed 2 I haven't well. seen Creed 2 yet. Yeah, you got to see yeah. that. It's, it's worth it. It's worth it. Uh, and then we move on to Christina Kleeb, uh as Agent Evelyn Pierce, or as they call her, Evil Lynn. Evil Lynn, which is a little He-Man joke. She's yeah, terrible. Yeah, little He-Man joke. Mm-hmm. She's mm-hmm. not good, man. You better stop it. She's not good. You she better was, stop it. She, did she play Linda in the Halloween remake, the Rob did. Zombie one? She certainly did. Yeah, so I have seen her tits. And I know she, that. She was, <laughs> yes, you have. And she was also in a, a, a great film called Proxy. And oh, there she is right there. Look at Oh, no. well, that's the, not, not, well, you know what it is, though? Aww. You know what it is, Mr. Celebrity Guy? <laughs> is that you're just, you're you're being blinded by the fact that she was nice to you at a, at she, a was con. Nice. she was nice. And I'm nice. sure she's nice. She's beautiful. Yeah. I feel like one of those guys who, like, think the stripper likes him. Yeah. Like, like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, the Don't bartender's you? super into me. I can feel it. I'm going to, I put my number on the, yeah. on the receipt. I tipped her like a five, like a fiver. And, right. like, she's really, I put my phone number on You her. could say whatever you want about Christina Klee, but she one time said to me, excuse me, can I have that fucking sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> I think we had something going on. <laughs> I, I I will honestly. I will. Flat. I will flat say fuck, she's dude. She uh, she's trying to play the straight role to Dolph Lundgren's humor. Yeah, and I, I think I think it kind of went astray. Can I go bit. back to Dolph Lundgren for one second? Yeah, because mm-hmm. I do love Dolph Lundgren. Yeah, all right. I love his story for, for what? Um, I've always liked him. I've just always liked him. I think uh, he's look. Dolph Lundgren's in a movie. That I've always dug that a lot of people don't really uh, like talk about called I Come in Peace, right? It's this like early 90s sci fi cop movie, and it's got the greatest ever final line, one of the greatest final like action movie lines ever. So the, the, the bad guy is an alien drug dealer who yeah. he has this like <laughs> fucking this machine that like sucks adrenaline out, adrenaline out of people. Oh. And then he, he's gonna go back to his planet and fucking and sell it. Okay. And Dolph Lundgren's like this, like fucking like Houston cop, and the only thing that the alien, the alien's just like seven foot tall, long haired, white haired dude uh, with white eyes. The only thing that the the guy can say is "I come in peace." That's why it's called that. I come in. He's like Schwarzenegger, right? Yeah. At the end of the movie, during their big fight, uh, Lundgren kills him. But we see "I come in peace," and Lundgren goes, "And you go." In pieces, <laughs> and it's just fucking perfect. Yeah. Um, so I've always liked Lundgren, yeah. MIT grad. The dude's a fucking genius. If you yeah. don't know that about this guy, the dude's a, a, like a, a yeah. like a rocket science genius. Did either of you notice? Maybe it was just me. The he terrible accent. Mumbles in this movie <laughs> oh a my lot. God, yeah. I, I couldn't understand half of his lines, and it wasn't because of an accent. It was because. Well, the know. accent was weird. He, yeah, it wasn't like I think like he was trying like it was. I think it was trying to be a southern accent, yeah. but it was just it was a bizarre choice. Whatever the accent was, I turned on subtitles because I, I always watch with subtitles. Underst- I couldn't understand him. He was just like, <laughs> what okay. the fuck is going? I on? feel vindicated because yeah, I don't yeah. ever turn subtitles on. I just fuck no, with the volume no. to the point where I just finally go after like twenty five minutes of him being in it going. I don't mm. care what he says. I, I get the gist. I literally just built a home theater in my house like this weekend, and I was so excited. I was like, dude, one of the first fucking movies I'm going to watch is going to. I'm going to talk about it on a podcast. It's fucking loud as shit, and I was like, I got to turn on the. Podcast. I gotta turn on that. Like, yeah. And somebody had to write those subtitles, and even they were probably like, "Fuck, huh? did he just say?" Yeah. All right. I want. I wanted to clear that up. Okay. Who's next on the cast list, Larry? Uh, after that, we slipped down to Tony Bentley as Chief Dunham. 
who you may recognize from The Last Exorcism. Uh, not, however, The Last Exorcism 2, which still boggles my mind. How do you have the last, like, yeah, the a penul- sequel of The Last of Something? Return of The Last The penultimate exorcism. exorcism. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he was the chief uh, who was really awful. Like, just in the, he was supposed to be awful. He yeah. did a good job. Uh, James Chalk as Pastor Erickson. Strange looking guy. Strange looking guy. I'm like, I couldn't tell, like, was he the bad guy in this? What yeah, was- he was, he was a bad guy. Aren't religious folk normally? Yeah, it yeah. seems like it. Yeah. Um, Miles Doliak as Deacon Shepard. Was uh-huh. he the FBI agent at the end? Yeah. Yeah. He's from American Horror Story. He was in the Purge television show. Uh, Toby Bronson as Otis Willard. And then a whole bunch of... Todd Farmer as Marcus, who wrote Jason X, which is one of your favorites. Oh, what, oh was well, he? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wrote Jason X and he wrote the uh, My Bloody Valentine uh, remake, which wasn't... Awful. No, no, that was not too bad. No, I thought Man. that one was all right. And Jason yeah. X really, upon re- review, wasn't too bad. It had some mm. stuff I liked in it. Yeah. Uh, um, that's. I mean, there's other. There's other people. There are other people in the movie. Right. But they don't really. Lundgren. Yeah. Lundgren's the name. Cleve is the closest you're going to come to recognizing anybody. Right. Yeah. And that's if you saw Rob Zombie's Halloween. Right. Essentially. And right. My, my thing with Lundgren in this movie is, I feel like he showed up. They were like, "Hey, man, we we paid for you uh, to be here." And he's like, "All right, I'm just going to do whatever I want to do." And yeah. They're like, "Oh, really?" And he's like, "Yep." And he just fucking did he whatever went. he wanted. <laughs> like, he was like, "I'm going to use this vape." fucking constantly yeah and they were well, like okay <laughs> yeah the, the vape was a weird choice I'll, that, I'll that was a super weird so he he vapes in the whole movie and i thought you know whether you vape or not i know that the connotation is usually it's a douchey thing yeah and it's like you got this big giant tall tough guy demon hunter and he's fucking va- like he should be smoking a cigar yeah and it's even like a it's like a vape a that pipe? has like a pipe yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like a sippy cup vape like mm. like like he's a demon hunter everything on him is like really authentic and like kind of whatever including his vape like yeah. you could have told a story about like oh uh, but you know. i did like how they they wrote gags for it like yeah, yeah. yeah. and it was probably after because like you said he probably was like yeah i'm just gonna use this in the movie yeah <laughs> and they were like Ugh, okay whatever so like they wrote the scene where like you know they 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 show the fucking truck and you can't even see anybody inside of it because it's so fucking yeah, smoky yeah, yeah, and yeah. Yeah. like like so they did a good job I thought uh, writing shit like that in because you're, you're absolutely right he came in and 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 said I'm gonna fucking do He's whatever like, the fuck I within want. the first five minutes of me being on the screen I'm gonna fuck a chick and they're like well dude we don't have tent budget we're gonna have to take that out of the CG budget for later in the movie He's right. like, we'll do it yeah right yeah she, she you don't have to show her tits just have her riding me with a cowboy yeah. hat on yeah, yeah. she's, she's got like, long hair that'll you can do cover it. the tits now, let's, can we talk about that scene can, okay so can I just <laughs> yes can I just bring up something real quick about yeah. that scene yeah. So Chickory County, M- M- Mississippi, right? Yeah, has uh, what a fucking bargain for a hundred dollar hooker. Has, she's yeah, she was attractive. Yeah. Like honestly, Chickory County, County, Mississippi. I'm figuring a hundred dollars. You're getting meth. You're meth, getting meth. Sally. You're getting meth. You're getting yeah. five hundred pounds of no teeth. You're getting something that like yeah. might be undesirable. Yeah, this girl was pretty good looking. Yeah, and you know, I mean, and she, you know, and she also is like really sneaky too because she like didn't tell him she was a hooker. That's, and, that was my question. Yeah. right. Like either you guys paying her. I'm not giving her a fucking dime. Yeah, I don't think I would have given her but a dime But see, the either. thing is, to your point, I'm like, $150, this isn't going to break the bank, I guess. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, Yeah, but, but you didn't tell me nothing. Yeah, up front. Like, I thought I scored. Yeah, know? and I also think the other half of it, too. <laughs> I don't see no signature on that contract. Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think the other half of it, too, is that he probably could have just said to her, look, you know, uh, okay, well, you know. Is she going to beat him up? Well, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> get, get your pimp. I'm fucking Dolph Lundgren. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm six foot I'm fucking six nine. Foot five. <laughs> if they had fucking done nine, that, yeah. if they had done that where, like, later in the movie, the pimp shows up. And ends up like killing somebody and becoming the the fucking. That would have been good. That would have been just like a simple connection. I would like this movie might be amazing. Yeah, yeah. I would have enjoyed that more. Yeah, the the hooker thing was funny. Although I will say I didn't. I liked his introductory scene. He's just drinking in this bar, and the uh, the hooker is being harassed by this like fucking you know douchebag. Hmm. And I do like the bit where he like grabs the guy by the ear, makes yep. him apologize. You know, we all we all like to see the bully get it in the end. Um, but Talks yeah. about consent. Very topical. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I got some budget if we want to talk about budget. Yeah, let's talk about the budget yeah. of this thing. So uh, surprisingly, surprise, I mean, <laughs> I'm not trying to be a dick, but the budget was $3.5 million. No, it wasn't. What? The, I'll say it again. <laughs> the budget as recorded was $3.5 million. Most of that had to go to Dolph Lundgren. Jesus, I, yeah. I would assume so, that and the noise, probably the... the <laughs> That's probably a cool one point two million dollar noise. You guys read who? Did you read either of you who was originally um, Ron uh, Perlman? Ron Perlman was was originally there. attached to this, and this movie for what I did, I couldn't find out why. Yeah, but it got delayed two times. Yeah, 
The original idea of this movie, when Mendez uh, had it written originally, was it was going to take place in Alaska. Like a 30 days of night A 30 feel. days of night kind of thing. And they couldn't afford uh, they couldn't afford that. <laughs> and the reason they actually filmed in, I don't know if it's really Chickory County, but they filmed in Mississippi during Christmas time was because they got a huge task, tax break to do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dan, a fucking remote version of this would have been that much better i think too like Like isolated and yeah that's just fucking cool yeah i think i think i think the alaska idea was a good idea hell yeah it would have been really it would have been really cool and they only shot they had 12 days 12 days yeah 12 days after from from being greenlit to uh they had 12 days no like 11 days of prep and 12 days of shooting or some crazy shit like that but yeah it was supposed to take place in alaska um 15 of the budget was raised on indiegogo why would they do an Indiegogo if they already had over three million dollars in budget? I don't know. Maybe they just maybe they started on Indiegogo and uh, who knows? Know. That is but weird. I, I've got the because uh, it did it did release in theaters and AMC theaters released. Uh, released I read it. that, yeah. And it's got a worldwide gross of eight thousand one hundred and ninety six dollars. Oh, so it almost made its money back. Almost, <laughs> yeah. So close. Almost <laughs> made its money. I think I've got that like in the car and change like for change for tolls. <laughs> It's um, under your Easy Pass holder. Yeah. yeah. However, I'm sure it made a good amount on on demand, etc. So. Far. Well, Lundgren yeah. has said he'd be willing to come back to play the character again. He said he had a, a great time. What was his name? Jer- Jericho Woodley or Jebediah? Jebediah. 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 I knew it was one of those je biblical Je-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-
Did you notice it? It was weird looking. It had like a neck thing. It went around her neck. It was kind of hot. Lacy? No, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't next really next notice. time well, next time you watch you this creepy movie. creepy fucker. Yeah. Your attention to detail is much different. Yeah. Yeah, my, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I'm, I, I, my eyes I was, are, I was looking at Dolph, frankly. Yeah. Well, he's he's checking her out and he's, you know, obviously his head, he's going, she had the wings. Yeah. You know? <laughs> he's like, she must <laughs> die. She's got the wings. If she dies, she <laughs> dies. <laughs> Hopefully not I until after real she. real American demon. <laughs> Into, or hopefully if it's not wings, until after like she if blows she, me. If she flies, she flies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, you, so you guys also noticed the fact that he like, she immediately just went from like being totally cold on him to like. It was just, a strange, it was a strange choice. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> that they made. Yeah. Just some kind of forced a weird yeah. chemistry. They were like, and us. then love scene. And somebody was like, wait, are we really doing this? Like, yep, we have to do it. This is yeah. a problem in movies. Why, why do movies always think that? We need a we love need scene. a love it's just, like it's the way story. It's, it's the way it's always been. You know what I mean? Like, and but, I'm, not, I'm not defending it. I'm just yeah. saying, like, I think it's like, well, they should be in love, right? But most right. most directors will work a little harder at it yeah. than uh, Mike Mendez did in this film because yeah. it was really just literally out of left field. Like, well, they hate each other, fucking like you said, blowing smoke in her face, mm-hmm. and all of a sudden she's like, oh, I fucking love oh, this. Oh, oh. It's like it's like he has that talk with her about like. You know, like her growing up in the house. You know, they see the house. They happen to go to a, a hotel that's right next to the house she grew up in. Right. And, and the house is very smoky. <laughs> the, like, yeah. It's all smoky. <laughs> that was so convenient. I loved that. But Could one, the budget really have been $3.5 I million? Don't, I don't think so. Wait, so one quick thing you said. Somebody, somebody, somebody finagled something. Yeah. Somebody, yeah. somebody hid money somewhere. Yeah. There's a problem. Well, there was like a, one of the things, like from a technical perspective, I think anyway, like the lighting was really good in the movie. Like there was all these like really great like moonlight shots from there. I remember thinking like, wow, this doesn't have that like, the one thing where it's different from the sci-fi movie is like there's some cool lighting effects in here and stuff, but. You know, then you see like where it's shaved off in other places, like the CG in the yeah, end. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, but um, one quick thing, I, I always I was thinking it could have been cool if they said that he had some ability, whether it was through the fucking one talismans, of all the nineteen fucking yeah. necklaces oh, yeah. he was wearing, Mr. T Chain in the Month Club, yeah. Yeah. like he had some ability, like to like attract people, or like he could like get them to be something that they normally weren't. You know what I mean? Like just give it a little yeah. touch of like. Yeah phantasm to maybe make that make sense right. like like even if she's like getting close to me he's like don't like you know what i mean like <laughs> yeah. I, 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 this happens all the fucking you don't time. you don't really like me yeah you like my kavorka yeah <laughs> it's my hat you know <laughs> what i mean like he's got a magic hat they also really tried to make like you know so Je- jebediah right jebediah yeah yeah jebediah. so they also like you know we have jebediah, to have jebediah. so many movies we have to have like the cool weapon crawl has the glave and yeah they really were trying to make the net gun a thing in this and i, I looks- like it listen Oh, I'm man. there for it. It's it's so goofy looking. Like, <laughs> yeah. I wish that they had. So, okay. They made it. Tr- like tricked like, it out. Or like just make it a little like. Make it something compact or like something cool. But yeah. they just like did an actual net gun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it looks like a. It looks like you took an umbrella and just turned it inside it out. It looked like an inside out <laughs> umbrella with four boxing gloves sticking out of it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. One of my favorite things. This reminded me of this. When he gets released from jail. Yeah. And. The, Which was another weird. Like why are you why are you putting him in jail? And, right. Oh, and now you're letting him out. Yeah, just right. because he's he's telling you something that's weird. Yeah. He goes. So the fucking chief is like pulling all these weapons out, and one of them is like uh, it's like a rope with like all these like weird balls. Oh, on it. it's the throwing. Thing. Yeah, but he goes and he says something like I forget what he says exactly, but he's like Indonesian oh, bolo, yeah. and I was like, how the fuck do you know? That? Yeah, it was a joke. It was yeah. a joke. It was a. I did. I did agree bit. with that. I'm like, was this supposed to be like? It was there, a bit. It was is, a bit. Is, there, is there a prequel? Is that, okay. Uh, yeah. No. I just thought it was funny that it was. So they got me. Yeah. I guess you know what I mean. I, I know. I agree with South you. South American bolo. Yeah, yeah right. South American yeah. bolo. And the other what? The other guy was just like, huh? Yeah. Like, how do you know that? Yeah, he's yeah. like I spent I spent a couple of years in fucking South America. Yeah, yeah, I know a bolo when I see one. Yeah. So I got another question. It's not my first bolo, son. <laughs> another another kind of specific question about yeah. something in this movie. So as the movie goes along and they're they're hunting, you know, this demon that's jumping body to body. Yep. She goes to visit the third family of uh, victims and it's this elderly black woman and yeah. and we're not elderly, but this black woman who her whole family got wiped out except for her. And it's supposed to be in a hospital, but it just looked like it was like in the hallway of my house. Did yeah. you did mm-hmm. you did you see that? Like like that was like, I was like, is this a hotel? Like where She's are in, they? I would think it was supposed to be like a mental hospital, but it, you're right. It looked like a hotel room or it something. It did not look like a hospital. And the other yeah. thing is later in the movie we get to this point where I found this very funny where 
these two little girls um, end up getting attacked by the demon. Oh yeah. Mm. So there's a there's a little little girl and then her older sister. Did either of you guys notice that the older sister appeared? Was she a little person and not a little girl? She just looked like she was way too old. Oh no, I didn't. I didn't she pick almost up on looked that. like huh. one of those like adult stunt women. That's like I don't know. I could be totally <laughs> wrong, but like her face looked like twenty eight, like like, a, like an adult stunt person who plays children because they're yeah. small. Yeah, I didn't know. I did not pick watch up it on again it. and just look at it and just go. I think John might be right, or maybe John's fucking crazy. Yeah, but okay. So you, neither of you right. picked up on that. No, but, but maybe, that, maybe like the actress that was supposed to play her didn't show up, and they're like, "Look, you got to be the fucking girl." Yeah, too. you're the girl. You're, you're the girl. <laughs> yeah, they took like the DP and were like, "Hey, uh, you're gonna have to play Here's your contact. You're gonna have to play a nine year old. I'm 42." Did yeah. you think it was weird that we have this like this scene now? Yep. With these two little girls, and, and this father comes and finds them, right? And says, look, you know, my little girl, something's wrong with her. I have her locked in the basement. And, you know, Dolph's like, I know what this is. You know, he knows what it yeah. is. If she dies. If she dies, she, she dies. dies. <laughs> he, he goes back to the house with them along with... with I defeat real American dies. children. Yeah. If he she goes dies, back to the house <laughs> with, with, uh, with Pierce. And did you guys, like, find it kind of funny that, that this whole scene, which is, like, this terrible thing, right? Yeah, this father. So it is awful. breezed over it so fast. It's played for fucking humor. Yeah. Like, he's like, drink this poison and then just go down. And like, so, the yeah. guy's like, yeah, okay, I'm going to do it. Yeah. yeah. Like, Dude, you just had to, you just found out you have to kill your daughter. That takes a little bit of yeah. time to, to really you fucking. That's right. Because one of them's already dead. So there's that. <laughs> And then, you know, now you've got, you have to kill the other one. Oh, and yourself. They've yeah. shown in this movie that there's ability to have characters that can, like the, the, the woman in, in the hospital. Yeah. She's, you know, her, she's talking about this whole thing about how her kids always fought and she thought it was the worst thing ever. And now, you know, she's living in a world without them. And she, and you're like, man, that's heartfelt. And then, like, you know, an hour later, it's like this guy's got to kill his daughter. And it's like, you're just waiting for him. Wah, wah, wah. The, the, like that kind of music to play and stuff. It just, I don't know. The tone was way off in that yeah, scene. Yeah, and way also, off. also, I remember being like, "Wait, is she just in the bedroom? Like th- this thing? As soon as they open the door, she leaps. She does like a twenty foot. That's yeah, not a leap. Horizontal, yeah. like yeah. fucking. And I was like, I don't think that door's holding her. No, yeah, <laughs> no, it was not. <laughs> I mean, maybe a wooden door was the answer the whole time. They're like, "Fuck, we just had to close it in a room." Shit. Yeah. Well, so there were some jokes that didn't work. I'll 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 okay. give you that. I I think for the first time ever, Larry. Yeah. And let's be honest, look, we've done a lot of these shows with you. Yeah. Um Am I fired or something? No. Like, <laughs> I think for the first <laughs> time ever, home? by the time this episode ends, yeah. you're gonna be kind of maybe a little bit like no. you, you no, you well, don't I, think well, so? I'm, I'm not gonna I don't wanna play my hand. All right. I, this might be a five. We'll see. Fuck. If this is a five, then you're fired. Yeah, all right. right. <laughs> Clear. I got it. I got well, it. We're also we're running down all the bad things, right? Yeah. But like the bad the things are funny to talk about. They're fun the, to talk about. Right. But the fucking scene where they're in the uh, town <sighs> hall is fucking dope. Talk I was like, this is awesome. Talk B- to me. Okay, guys. so bits of it were dope and no, bits of it were goofy off. as fuck. No, no, no. Bits were goofy. Dude, that old lady. That old lady. It was Great. It was so fucking goofy. But see, goofy. that's where I, I see what you're saying where it's like, that's that that like hobo with a shotgun kind of like humor where it's like, it's so ridiculous that yeah. you've got to like, it. I right, mean, he yeah. fucking takes a chainsaw to a group of people. Right. Everyone it's, could have just scattered. It's like but fucking like, brain dead. Like he's got yeah. the fucking, the lawnmower and he's just going through all the fucking zombies. So I think like, my, I think my problem with this movie might be that, and I, okay, I get what you're saying. So like, you're talking like dead alive, right? Yeah. Like mm-hmm. dead alive maintains a tone this movie oh, doesn't yeah. maintain right. a tone. No, ever. you're right. It tries to be, by the way, which I, I wanted to mention earlier, this movie has the same concept as Fallen. Do you guys remember that movie? Uh, yeah, yeah, with uh, Denzel Washington. Yeah, yeah. so it, it's trying to figure out sometimes it's like, well, I want to be like Fallen where it's serious. But other times you're right. It's yeah. like it's got this like really fun gore camp that you're yeah. like, oh, this is cool. And I, I agree with you. It has a little bit of a consistency. I would have liked it better if it went either way. If this was like straight, because at the beginning of this movie when – that guy is going through the houses and blowing everybody away. You're like, fuck, this is going to be dark. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then we kind of get, you know, like, these are the best ribs in time. Like, it just, it, <laughs> it, it feels like every other scene, I could be wrong, but Mike Mendez and, 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 uh, Burke and Olsen, the writers were like, you know, on, on every, every odd page, they're like, okay, dark and like, like horror. Mm-hmm. And then like, we're going to make this funny as shit. And then dark and horror. And then, okay, guys, we got to the scene where the guy's got to kill his little girl. And it's like, Let's make this funny as fuck. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just th- felt like there was an inconsistent fucking tone. I, f- I feel like, though, it's probably not a writer problem as much as it is a director problem. Yeah. I'm yeah. pretty sure if you got to read the script that it's probably, it probably has a tone. 
Yeah. It probably has a tone that's consistent throughout. Um, and this movie's short as fuck, too, by the yeah, way. Yeah, like 116? 23, I think. 23, was it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, especially if you're telling me that the guys who wrote it also did, like, Stakeland 2, and, and, like, they've done a couple other they've done some bigger stuff. properties. Yeah. Like, it sounds like they had an idea, and then Mike Mendez was like, I'm going to yeah. sci-fi movie the shit out of right. it. And what we got was sort of that yeah. middle. When you get the director of Big Ass Spider in the room, <laughs> yeah, yeah, things you know, are going to get weird. He's going to make some. He's going to make some choices, and then... Like you said, wisely, you know, you get somebody of Dolph Lundgren's character who, from what I understand, is difficult to work with anyway. He's probably like, nope, I'm doing it this way. Mm. So that, you know, along with Mike Mendez's fucking, you know, what he wants to do, and then they're still trying to rely on the script a little bit. It, you know, it got a little, it got a little muddy in parts. Yeah, it definitely, it definitely got a little muddy, and I see that, but. Uh, We'll get to what I actually think of it uh, towards the end here. All right. Um, but I, I, I got to disagree. I don't think that anything was goof, uh, bad about that town hall scene. I think that town hall, town hall scene was cool. It, it definitely had moments. I mean, it, it, I don't think it was all terrible. I liked yeah. like when you know when they get out and it's transferring to the person in the in the like ice cream truck or whatever, yeah. and and uh, he's just like trying. He's like he, every time he gets a bead. On that person, yeah. it's just like fucking. It bink. shifts yeah. over. I yeah, cool. I thought one of the I thought one of the best moments in the movie actually, just logistically, like you know, figuring out what they were gonna do with it, was how like towards the end when oh, that's my dogs by the way. Uh, towards the end, no, that was when <laughs> that was my ass. When uh, <laughs> some weird food. when that one fed at the at the house with the little girl, he gets mortally wounded and it's in him. Yeah, and they take the the head fed who had to shoot that guy. And they take him for information in the in the woods, and they have him tied up, and they're you know they're they're talking to him, and you're realizing as the viewer that that other guy's dying, yeah, and that it's going to pop because this guy technically killed him. I liked that, yeah. I liked like the mechanics of it and stuff, mm-hmm. but then you know like we just can't like not get away from the goofy stuff, like the the final the final battle, you know, all all the you know the the hunters and all the guys in town, mm-hmm. you know, guys strapped up with grenades left and right. I like little bits like that. Yeah, I I don't know. And and then, I love that he just hands the guy the grenade though. Like, yeah. He just fucking just he's like here and then just whatever. The, the explosion was horrendous because it was just like a, yeah. a CG explosion. But I just loved that. I actually was just like here. Yeah, <laughs> I think I was like. Oh. And then the whole thing with her like sacrificing herself at the end. I don't know. I just felt like the whole her being an angel storyline. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I mean, forced. Forced. It, it was super forced and it just didn't feel like it fit into the movie. Like, I, I don't know why we needed that. Mm-hmm. I would have felt more if she sacrificed herself for Lundgren because like, you know, she is on this accelerated love journey with him. Yeah. You know, I, I don't yeah. know. You could have done something like, I don't know, like forgive the reference, but like in like, remember in Constantine, I think at the end, like Shia LaBeouf Oof. is like an angel or something. Now I'm not saying that's like what I would do, but like something where like, if she just sacrificed herself, you could do some sort of thing later on in the movie. Like when he, gets to the uh, middle of the ocean. Oh, jeez. Mm-hmm. And you know what I mean? And throws the thing off, like, if there's a reflection or a fucking... Uh, some goddamn thing that's like, maybe she's, like, with good wherever she yeah. is. You know what I mean? I don't know. So, Larry, what, you picked this movie. What are some of the things you particularly like about this movie? Like, uh, when you're going to throw Don't Kill It In, which yeah. I'm sure you've done multiple times. Yeah. What are you looking for? <laughs> I've only seen it, like, twice. <laughs> no, three times now. Three times. I, I think it's. I think it's a lot of fun. I have fun with it. Even, listen, I don't, this is not, I'm not here uh, to, to watch an Academy Award winning film. I'm no, not, I'm not watching Silence of the Lambs. We know that. We know that. You know, this to me is just a really gory, good time. I, I do, I wasn't kidding earlier when I said, I think to me, this is Dolph Lundgren's best film. You know, I think, I think he's better in this than he has been in anything. Um, does he have a little bit of a marble mouth? Yeah, well, oh, no, bit. he's got like a fucking full like heart on in his mouth half yeah. the time. Yeah, <laughs> it's hard for me as somebody with hearing difficulties. I've been watching movies with subtitles on forever, so I can't even tell if the guy if you, you're saying that he was unintelligible. I don't. I, I've got subtitles on anyway. I rare. I rarely. I notice. You know, when I'm watching a movie, every once in a while, I'll notice weird things like. Um, Man, the music is so much louder than the dialogue. Mm. But that's just the mix issue. Yeah. Or like, man, like this DVD, I have to turn up to ninety five to hear it all. But like, I don't normally notice movies where like one character is int- unintelligible to me. Right. From the very like first couple lines, I was like, what the fuck is he saying? <laughs> Can somebody get the mic closer to that? Can guy? you get yeah. the mic inside of his mouth, with the, <laughs> right next to that dick? <laughs> 
<laughs> Imagine if the mic was just right in front right here. of his lips. Yeah. Uh, and, and there's stuff, there's scenes that I really, like I said, I really enjoy that town hall scene. I thought that town hall scene is great. Some of the humor really works for me. Like when the fucking priest is throwing the holy water on him, he's like, hey, hey, come on. That's rude. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, the power of Christ. He's like, now that's the exorcist. Come on. Yeah. When yeah. He di- I, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. Uh, that's the exorcist. I did laugh at that line. Yeah. yeah. I liked, um, I like some of the ideas that they had that kind of increased the, I don't know, the mythos of the Jebediah character. Like yep. one of my favorite things actually was when he was talking about, what is it, the transfiguration? When he talks about like the rules of like demons, like some do this, some do this. Yeah, and yeah. like some of those shots were kind of lame, but some of them were also kind of fucking cool. Like I like the idea that like there's all these different kinds of demons. Some right. talk, some do whatever. Yeah, but some this are one, like possessions. This is its yeah. thing. Right. Um, and this is the only one he's ever met that does this. That right. Transfers when and it's like the it. fucking hardest one to kill because right. you can't. You can't. You right. know what I mean? You, it's literally you have to in kill the fucking, yourself. You, to, you don't kill it. Right. <laughs> don't kill it. Don't kill it. Mm. Hence the name. Hence the name. Mm. I, however, I, w- I did want to say like one thing that I I thought would have been cool is if the demon did talk a little bit and maybe like I don't know could Some antagonize kind of a reason, him. Yeah, yeah or, or, just maybe antagonize. Like it was here to find him. Yeah. Because it was pissed I've been about, looking for you. Yeah, yeah, like he's been looking for it, but maybe it's like I've been fucking locked away for 40 years and I've yeah. been waiting for this moment. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I've been waiting for a dolphin like, like you. you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's let's grade this thing. Let's talk about uh, what we thought of Don't Kill It. Yeah. The 2016 slash 17 Dolph Lundgren, first ever horror movie. Mm. Yeah, good. Uh, Good for Duff. Let's okay. So, Pine Duffy. Comics rules. Pine Comics rules apply uh, on Pine of Horrors as well. Larry, what are we rating this on? Uh Dragos. Dragos. Yeah. Ooh. All right. So, Dave, I'll let you go first. Zero to five. Ivan Dragos. Quarter and half scale optional. What do you give? Don't kill it. Um, I'm gonna go with a. 2.5 uh kind of middle of the road because exactly what we talked about right like there are a lot of times in the movie where i'm like this is great and there are other times in the movie i'm like mm, you know what i mean had tonality issues but ultimately i saw the things that you loved about it i think we talked about some of the things that maybe wish we had done if they had just chosen one of those two directions and really kind of filled out those open places with that vibe I think this movie would have been fucking hilarious and like almost on the level of like an army of darkness or something where it's goofy aware of itself and also stands out amongst other horror movies of, of the genre you know of that kind of vibe right well if you nail it you can be an army of darkness if you can yeah. nail that right yeah yeah, yeah. right that, that's that's a high that's yeah. a high which lofty, they didn't it's a lofty fair. Goal. no lofty no no, no, no 100 yeah. percent. but that's why <laughs> army of darkness would get like a five yeah. whereas this you know i'm could have been you know obviously cut it back a little bit all right, uh, I'll go next. Uh, we always save uh, Scary Larry for last. Uh, I'm going lower. I'm going 1.5. I'm going 1.5. You're a fucking prick. Yeah, I'm a prick. Uh, I was trying to say earlier, you, you know, you've you've brought us, you know, movies including season one. Uh, there was a couple that like maybe weren't like as good as some of the other ones, but I still, you know, Fun House. Eh, it was okay, but I still had fun with it. Yeah. This one here, I just I don't know. You didn't even have fun. I right. think it was a combination of the flat acting. And the tonality of it, I just couldn't grasp onto this movie. And I, I do like Dolph Lundgren. I really, truly do. Uh, he's got an incredible story. He was Grace Jones's boyfriend. Yeah, I remember that. Right? Yeah. And, like, Hollywood agents kept asking her, like, who is, like, because he's fucking, he's six foot nine. Yeah, he's gorgeous. Yeah, gorgeous. Yeah. He's, 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 still, he's, yeah. yeah. Still. He still looks great. Still he looks great. He got his shirt off in the first 20 minutes of the movie. I was like, damn, dude, what are you, like, 65? Yeah. Like, yeah. you look fucking great. He hit yeah. Sylvester Stallone so hard. When they were making Rocky Four, that Sloan ended up in the hospital for like four days. Mm-hmm. He when they were when they were filming the boxing scenes, he hit him in the chest and he fucked up Stallone's heart rhythm. Yeah, <laughs> he ended up one. in the hospital like four fucking days. I got one for you. I read a story once. I don't know how true it is. I'm just saying I read it, but like. I guess a bunch of people, some fucking guys broke into his house one time and like tied up his wife and they were just trying to rob him because as far as they knew, just some rich dude lived there. They saw pictures of him on the mantle and they're like, oh my fucking God, that's Ivan Drago. And they untied the wife and they fucking left. <laughs> I, I don't know I if that's true. true. I hope it's true. I hope yeah. it's true. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, would fact check it, anyone who's listening, but yeah. even if it's not true, it's still badass. Still take that one. I, I, love, well, I, love, let's I love stories like that. Like when LL Cool J beat up somebody who broke into yeah. his fucking Of course LL Cool J beat up some Hell yeah! yeah fucking, he did. Are you Sean, kidding me? <laughs> Sean Bean got fucking stabbed outside of a uh, outside of a bar. Went in, 
called 911, finished his fucking beer. Yeah. Like, that's a champ. <laughs> yeah. It is a champ. That's not, I would be fucking crying in the bathroom. Yeah, I'd be pissed Well, when you, di- when you die in every movie you're in, yeah. it's just, you're used to it. It's not yeah. even special anymore. <laughs> it's poor Sean Bean. Yeah. Poor, I remember watching Game of Thrones uh, season one, and poor I was season. behind it, but I didn't know. Mm. Yeah. But, like, I knew. Yeah. I was like, you yeah. know, I'm like this Sean guy. Bean, he ain't making it. This guy ain't gonna make it. Yeah. <laughs> when I watched, ain't gonna uh, make it. when I watched The Martian in the theater, I was like, I think he's gonna make it. <laughs> 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 All right, Larry. Yeah, it's your show. It's it's you, your show. Well, the audience picked the movie overall, but you put it out there for them. I did. So, what, I did. what do you give? The audience wanted this, wanted us to. They watch did, this. Mm-hmm. I, and I guarantee they picked this all over Slither. Listen, I, I I understand there's not a ton of people out there who know Excision. Uh, please, please watch Excision. It's one of my favorite movies. We might roll it tonight. To to choose this over Slither is a, is a choice. Wait, right? no, no, Splinter. Splinter, I'm sorry. I was gonna Splinter. Say Splinter. Slither. Which still, Slither. Sp- Splinter's good, too. Yeah. But mm-hmm. no, Slither's much better. Slither probably would have won. Fucking yeah. Yeah. Slither's, love Slither. Yeah, Slither's yeah. great. Yeah, Slither's great. But uh, Splinter's really good, too. No, it yeah. is. Yeah, it so, is well. And I'm sure they saw Splinter. Splinter's not... An I saw underground it. film. I saw it. It's got, it's got what's her? Yeah. I can't remember. Jill something. She's I don't know. Gorgeous name. as fuck. Yeah. yeah. But mm. uh, that's, a re- that's a really fun movie, too. Uh, but they, they chose this. They wanted us to watch it because they wanted us to, to enjoy it. And, and I did, whether you did or not. Uh, you know, know what? I never have a bad time watching movies for a podcast. Right. It's better than what I do most of, the, most of my day. So. so is it sweaty in here? It's or hot or is here. It me? Yeah, no, it's, it's hot in here. It's, uh, it's su- look at, I, would, look at, I would say it's Oh, soupy. yeah. No, no. Yeah. We're, we're mm. recording, by the way, if, if we didn't mention it earlier. In a on, fire. In yeah. a fire. <laughs> on the, on, I think we are the hottest, in hell right now. <laughs> <laughs> the hottest night of the year. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. So, so don't kill it. <clears throat> the 2016-2017 film. It's not. I'll agree with you. It's not particularly well done. You know, a lot of it, the love, the love story out of nowhere doesn't so stupid. It doesn't work. It, I, I completely agree. Say stupid. Uh, it doesn't work. Say stupid. It, it's not stupid. <laughs> it just doesn't work. It was a choice <laughs> that didn't really work. Uh, Christina, I love you, but a little flat. Flat. A little flat. You know, I get it. You're trying to play the straight to Dolph Lundgren's humor, but F A F to your point, fuck. like that's a I don't think that was necessarily her. That was like a direction problem. Like could be. Dolph Lundgren's over there just making his own fucking rules. Just she's looking vaping, at this director. Just blowing yeah. vape smoke. She's like, I didn't she's like looking at Mike Mendez like, what am I supposed to do? He's yeah. like, just fucking endure. Right. Yeah. She's like, I was fucking Linda in Halloween. God damn it. I don't need this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this life. Why God? Uh, a lot of the effects are hokey. Um, that, that's, I, I can see past that with the sci-fi budget. I celebrate that. I, yeah. It's not that I can see past it. I, can, I celebrate it if it's a practical effect. When, when it's Fuck bad yeah. CGI, I'm, I'm, I get a little annoyed. Mm-hmm. Um, practical you, effect. You can throw a fucking mannequin arm on the floor covered in fake blood, and I'm psyched. Hell yeah, because <laughs> you, you, you went for it. That's yeah. what I appreciate. And um, – you know, when he fucking walks in, he blows that chick away in the first ten, five minutes of the movie. Blood everywhere. I was like, oh, okay. Like, yeah. somebody showed up and was like, no, we're going to have some fun. Yeah. And I appreciate that. Yeah. And what you just said is perfect. We're going to have some fun. And I had fun. Mm-hmm. It's gory. It's fun. I had a good time. And I honestly want a sequel. I want to see more. What is your fucking... I, I want to hear the see score. more of Jebediah. I'm, I'm clamoring to hear the number you give me. I don't thing. care if you give me a prequel. I will I can deal with the backstory of Jebediah. Or you give me more future. I was going to ask you, maybe after, if we could talk about what you think a good idea for the sequel would be. Yeah. Yeah. I've got some ideas. Fuck. I'll go home and start writing it tonight. Fuck yeah. Write it. Fuck I'll write. Yeah. I will not let Mendez, Mike Mendez. direct it. <laughs> yeah. No. Mike Mendez, you can't... <laughs> You can't touch Larry's movie with a fucking eight, <laughs> uh, uh, eighteen foot pole. No, no, we're yeah. not talking to Mike Mendes. We're talking to Dolph Lundgren. That's right, exactly. Yeah, Dolph, Dolph, what, what do you know? want to do with yeah. this character? <laughs> you know, uh, you stick with your big ass spiders, Mister Mendes, which is which is a hysterical movie, by the way. Uh, maybe I'll check it out. Uh, so, on the Dolph Lundgren scale of one through five, uh, given that it does have its problems, but I did have a really good time with it. I'm going to go 3.25 Dolph Lundgren. That's high. I don't think – I thought about a three, um, but I had too much fun for a three. So I just want to give it a little bit more. A three, little bit more. Three and a quarter. Mm. All right. 3.25 is fair. So that's the word on don't kill it. Uh, as all these episodes end, we're going to roll the dice oh, yeah. to determine Ooh. what the next movie uh, – three movies that you get. Now, we always do this based on how many people are here. Three of us here, there's going to be easier choice. There's going to be three movies for you guys to choose. Uh, make sure as you're hearing this episode, you're going to ConnecticutCultClassics.com. Go to Scary Larry's voting page. 
and pick the film that you want to hear us talk about on episode five of season two of Scary Larry's Pine of Horrors. So why don't we roll it, Larry? Why don't you roll your little, uh, we all have to use your die. I don't have my die with me. That's fine. Okay, so I roll a 10 and it gives me one of my favorite movies ever. Which means it probably will not be fucking <laughs> good. <laughs> <laughs> will not be picked. 10, can't yeah, do that. Can't do that. 11. Oh, oh, we've had this before. All right, okay. hand that over to Dave. All right, I got one on my arm. Does that work? Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, look at that. Roll Nerd. That Four. Yep. Okay. What did I get, Larry? All right, so we'll start with you. Four is a Japanese anthology called Three Extremes. I've heard of it. I don't know anything about it. Awesome. I rolled a 10, which is maybe one of my favorite uh, Asian films of all time. I saw The Devil. Mm. <sighs> Always wanted to see that. Never yeah. got around to it. It's, uh, it's one that may not be be super fun to talk about because it's so fucking dark, but I, I just couldn't back myself away from it when I was making the list. All right. I had to put it on there. Sometimes I love it. the super dark ones because you have to fucking make a joke so you don't cry yourself exactly. to sleep are yeah. really good ones. Exactly. Uh, and then, John, you rolled one that uh, is super fun to talk about uh, that has been on the list before Rubber. Oh, the tire oh, movie. The tire, the tire yeah. movie. I have the a feeling that's going to win. I'm going to go with probably that. Will. As a base win. That dude's got a new movie coming out, right? Oh, there's a movie called Slacks. Did he make that one too? It's about the killer <laughs> no, pants. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> That's fucking great though. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The killer pants. Yeah. yeah. All right. This has been Pine of Horrors. Scary Larry's Pine of Horrors. Pine of Comics. Check us out on Twitter. At Pine of Comics. Check us out on Instagram. Pint underscore uh, o underscore comics. I think, yeah, that's what it is. Lo- Lloyd, Lloyd, always, Lloyd always has this shit. I, I don't have it written down. Uh, go to pineofcomics.com. And uh, check us out on all the podcatchers in the universe. Larry, of course, until next time, always wonderful. Dave, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Let's do another episode right now. But first, let's say see ya, and let's turn the AC on so we can all stop sweating for about 10 minutes. Thank you, God. See ya. We are leaving!